Hello, in this Python programming tutorial, we are going to look at decision making, also known as conditional statements in other languages. So it's if, else if, and else statement. So what is an if statement? I think you can sort of guess, it just checks if something equals something else, or more specifically, if the result of something, some condition, some value, results in true. So any of these operators that we used, where we were checking if a number is greater than something, or if a particular character existed in a string, for example, if something equals something, or something is something, or if something is not something, all those, whether if it returns true or false, we can actually use them within our decision making. We're just gonna keep it simple and just be using the double equal operator, which just checks if the left side and the right side are equal to each other. So the format is for an if, then you put some brackets, and I'm just gonna put some actual values here. So I'm gonna put 500 double equals 400. So obviously 500 does not equal 400. Then you put colon, then on a new line, make sure it's indented. This particular IDE has automatically indented it. In other languages, you might have some sort of curly brace system where that encloses the code for that particular statement. Python does not, so you need to just make sure you indent it to indicate to the compiler that this code is for the if statement. So in here, I'm just going to do a simple print saying no, like so. And I'm going to do another if statement if 500 equals 500 so then i'm going to do yes like so so there's something to bear in mind you can actually omit these brackets as well and i'll show you both of them will you know both will work both are valid i prefer it with brackets one that's a format in many other languages and i come from programming in other languages first and also, I, I just think it's a lot cleaner and a lot easier to see, okay, this is the condition that we're checking. So we get an output of yes, and we didn't get an output. Oh yeah, we don't get an output of no, because 500 doesn't equal 400. So hence why that didn't print. Obviously that was my bad. So the other extension that we can do is something called an else if. And we can have you know, multiple lines of code here to be part of this if statement. That's more than fine. But if we go back to the left side, if we put LF, so this is else if, and we're gonna say else if 450 equals, let's say 450. Okay, before that, we'll cover the else statement. So the else statement, so just else, just states if none of the other conditions are true, then you know do this condition so this is a good way to have a fallback if you're coding an application and something's gone wrong and i'm gonna say no and what i'm gonna do is duplicate this these are two separate if statements now and i'm gonna do 400 here so first should print out yes second should be no so yes and no because 500 is equal to 500, so it prints out yes, because this is this equated to true, this will never run. 400 does not equal 500, this will never print it, so it fell back on the else. But what if we wanted to check if, I don't know, this particular value equaled several different things? And let me create a variable, so it's you know easier to demonstrate. So if I create var1 equals 500, for example, no particular reason why I'm using 500, that's just you know, a random number of children. So if I did if var1 double equal 500, and if I do print, then in here, if, let's say I put var1 is equal to 500, but maybe I want to also check if var1 equals several other values and i don't want to have to well, let me think so no it doesn't equal a valid value i don't want to have to do multiple if statements one you know it's extra code and two it's not efficient and three exactly another problem 
because if we you know let's say did multiple if statements like this so let's say if the valid ones are over 500 and 400 300 if i run that what do you think the results going to be ignoring you know what we've just done on the top so just the bottom part of it we get it's equal to 500 but no it doesn't equal a valid value even though it is a valid value so it's backing into these so if we want to combine if statements so only run one of the essentially you know conditions or the else then you can do it like so what you can do is put elif which is short for else if then the condition so it can be any condition doesn't have to be related to the value that we've used in the first condition not at all now we're going to do print i'll just copy this to save some time equals 400 and now if we run this what do you think we'll get as a result we have var1 is equal to 500 so it goes to here checks if the first condition is true yes it is prints it off ignores the else if and ignores the else if i change this to 400 let's see what we get okay var1 is equal to 400 so what it does is it goes to the first condition is it true no var1 does not equal five does not equal 500 aka 400 does not equal 500 now then checks the second condition does 400 equal 400 yes it does so it prints this out and it skips any other else ifs or else and you can have several else ifs as well um, that should be like this and obviously you could have let's say different values like so i'm not going to test all of these you can as an exit test you can you know code some more test of these and if let's say it's not a value value like 100 it will just default to the else so this is the format if first any else if next then an else so you don't have to have else if you could just simply have an if on its own like so or you could have it with an else or you could have it with an else if or with an if else if else so those are the valid combinations that you can choose and there's just one last thing i want to actually cover and that is you can actually put it essentially all on one single line as well so you know just a single sort of simple decision making statement where you can do something like if let's say var1 and we're meant to be putting brackets around me so i literally had started a video so preferably with brackets and then i forgot to put them like i said it's valid either way both both routes work let me just finish with the brackets Ooh, that was unintended nope wrong key so let me just delete this here okay so first of all for some condition let's say var1 does it equal well, actually let me demonstrate you can you know use any operator so var1 is var1 bigger than 50 it is so let's say if it's just a simple statement we could just do colon and then actually put the value here we could do print and put var1 is greater than 50 run it and see what we get hopefully no errors it's always the hope in programming var1 is greater than 50 so you can do it all in one line like so so that's it for decision making also known as conditional statements in python thank you for watching and i look forward to seeing you in the next video